How's it going, everybody? The Seer here. We have our round three matchup, and today we are going against Zemos. This is another rematch. Uh, last time we faced each other, we didn't clear each other, and he ended up kicking my butt. So, probably going to be the same outcome, but we're going to see if we can get the victory. Uh, if we get the victory here, I'll get 3-0, and and we have a chance to hit rank 50. We already have our Masters 3 locked in as well, but I really want to try to beat this guy, not just in Arena. Let's go ahead and take a look at him. Zemo is 141 million TCP. And as far as his defenses goes, he made some adjustments. So we have the Spider Society with Mephisto in one. We have the Night Stalkers with Morgan in two. Last time there was a APOC here, and that was the room I couldn't clear. Stage three, we have the Orcus with Super Scroll. Stage 4, we have the Extreme X-Men Rogue Dorm. Dorm is not uh, Crimson, so I don't know what's going on there. Uh, stage 5, we have the Hive Mind Black Knight. And Stage 6, we have Annihilators with Quicksilver. So Quicksilver is a pretty interesting addition in there. Let's go ahead and start the attacks. All right, for stage one, we're gonna end up doing our double sack. So we're gonna start off with the Black Order. We're just gonna spawn in, try to get that exhaust on Mephisto, pull a few abilities. Then we're gonna go. Uh, go then we're gonna go in with the second hit. There we go. If I can English today. All right, we pulled a few abilities from the team. Mephisto hasn't used the ult yet. We're gonna go in with the Infinity Watch. Hopefully, we can get the ult pulled off and another ability off Spider-Man War to make the follow-up hit much easier. All right, we got our two sacks out of the way. Mephisto has not used the ultimate, uh, so we do want to be aware of that when we start going into this. I'm probably going to try to focus him down first, mainly because of that. We made them all strikers. Uh, the Nord did end up doing his special. We're probably walking into ult, which is going to go into Lizard and Doc Ock, but I think we should still be okay after that. Right, it's not the old. That's good. All right, let's target the. Let's just go for the Mephisto here in special. Got slow on him. That's good. And. He's going to get the taunt, that's fine. Yeah, let's go back into Mephisto and ult. We got the buffs off of Peter B, not off of Penny. That's usually what happens anyways. All right, ult into Mephisto. Get the ability to block on Peter B. All right, summon out the shocker here. We lost Doc Ock, but I think we should still be fine. Offense up. Hold for turn me to rewind. We got a kill right there already. There goes Mephisto. And we're gonna target the penny and ult for that turn me to rewind. That should kill Noir. Peter B basic. He had a lot of debuffs, so we got the kill on him. And there goes the penny. We are jumping over to stage three. 
For this one here, because the Scientist Supreme has the Healer 3 purple, I'm just going to burn this, then I can bring my Cabal in. And that usually walks over this really easy and gets a pretty good efficiency score. So we're going to go in first with the Bifrost as the Sack. Alright, so we were able to pull all the opening abilities on this one. Super Scroll did the ult, I don't need it a basic, but this should walk right over it. There is no Lady Death Strike, so he's probably using that on offense as a pretty good offensive tool. But let's go ahead and get in here and clear this room out. Alright, so there's the taunt right there on the Sunnobot. We're going to use Ultimus Ultimate, that's going to kill him. Get us that turn meter and Archangel already starts with the turn meter rewind. Um, I'm gonna try to take all the buffs off of the Omega Sentinel and use the ultimate here. Alright, so now we're gonna target Super Scroll and use the special from the Iron Patriot. It's gonna call the assistant and get the kill on him. More turn meter rewind. Bolt into the Nimrod here. And Omega Sentinel would die, then came back. Alright, let's go ahead and use the special into Omega Sentinel. There's kill on her. Kill on Sentinel. Really easy cleanup now. All right, for stage six, we're gonna end up using our Mercs for Money four piece, and I'm bringing Ares in. Um, Ares isn't gonna do too much. He's gonna take that safeguard off of the Gladiator. Gore's gonna end up using that ultimate. They're gonna get the safeguard anyways, but I'm hoping that I might be able to get some ability block usage out of him. It really is just the three piece uh, Mercs for Money that does work on this anyways. Let's go ahead and get in. All right, Thor is gonna ult. There's the safeguard back. And looks like Quicksilver went right for Ares, then switched over to Old Man Logan. That's good. Gladiator's kind of a being Superman over there. Let's use that special from Dakin. I'm going to save the ultimate because I want to save that stun. So we're just going to basic into Gladiator. All right, there goes Ares. Impulse killed, comes right back. We have the revive one still on Old Man Logan. All right, let's use the ultimate. Um, We're gonna end up losing this buff, but yeah, we'll be fine. Let's uh stay let's switch over to Quicksilver and Ult. And ult into Quicksilver. I'm gonna make sure to kill him before he gets his ult off on me. There we go. We're going to switch over to Thanos. Uh, he hasn't used its ult yet, and that could wreck us. We're going to basic into him. For me to rewind. Alright, basic. Alright, so Thanos endgame's dead. He's ability blocked, that's fine. Let's get the stun on Gladiator over here. All right, we're gonna switch over to Ultimus. He's about to special, so we're gonna special into him. And let's special into Ultimus actually. Then that should kill him. It's gonna rebound between Gore and Gladiator. Perfect, that's how I drew it up.
All right, we're going into stage four now. We're gonna end up using our Masters of Evil North Star. Um, my North Star is bigger than it was last time when I went in here, because I did G19 him due to that event. Uh, I see Rogue here is a purple two fortifier, so she's gonna have barrier on spawn. I don't really think that's gonna change anything with this matchup. As long as I take Dorm out and about one or two other Extreme X-Men, the cleanup is a lot easier on that. So that's going to be our main goal if we don't get the one shot. All right, so we're going to go ahead and use the ult from Titania into Rogue. That's going to get the Disrupt on her. So we don't have to worry about the reflexive taunt now. So they all went stealth, so that means we're going to target Dorm and use the special. So now we got Slow on Nightcrawler and Rogue. So I can use the ult. This is going to do a turn meter rewind by 20%. I think I need to do that, so we're going to do that. Right, we're gonna switch over to we're gonna switch to gambit and do a basic here because i don't want the dorm to go stealth so i'm gonna end up using the kang ult parted on the dorm here all right ult that's going to take off those revive onces we got the disrupt on kang that's good Target Dorm and Ult. All right, that got rid of him. Could have gone at Forge on that, but I want to make sure he was out of the way. All right, let's use the special to get the no ability block in Rogue. That's unfortunate. Done on Kang, that's really bad. Alright, so we pull the ult from Nightcrawler, that's good. And ult from Gambit, that's good. All right, we're going to jump over to stage five now. We're going to end up doing a sack into the hive mind Black Knight. I want to get the exhaust on Black Knight. That's going to make the follow up a whole lot easier to deal with, and it's not going to take any major weapons away from me. So let's go ahead and do the sack using the invaders first. All right, so we didn't pull anything from the Black Knight. We were able to pull the ult from the Void Knight, the ult from Carnage, the ult and special from Gwenom. So it's a pretty good sack. Now we're gonna go in here with the New Warriors Guardian. Uh, Gwenpool should special into the Black Knight. Hopefully we can get off the taunt. Then from there we can start controlling and get rid of the high mind members, such as Carnage and the Red Goblin. All right, so special into the Black Knight. We put everything, that's perfect. We're gonna target the Red Goblin, use the ult. We got that nice turn meter rewind on those three there. Let's spread from those evades got us there. All right, so ult. Ult for the permakill on the red goblin. There it goes. And there goes the void knight. And He's about to special. I'm not worried about the carnage right now. This is going to rebound chain and offense up. Attack primary and adjacent. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, perfect. Alright, this is a 1.2 million power punch up. Um, 
Theoretically, this should work. Somebody in chat gave me confirmation when I was talking about this. Uh, we're going to end up doing a Red Hulk Apoc Tangled Web. And I'm just throwing Quicksilver in here for that turn meter rewind and that little bit of control to the team. So let's go ahead and see how this one plays out. All right, so let's go ahead and start by hitting Blade and Ulting. Actually, I should have hit Agatha because she had the uh, Death Proof. So that's a ready misplay. Uh, let's get the trauma stun on Blade. We've got the charges up now. And the charges basically saved us from the Morgan and Agatha. And somehow Apoc got a stun on Agatha. I'll take it. All right, we're going to target Morgan and Special. Get a turn meter rewind out there. All right, so we're going to target Blade and Ult. There goes Morgan. Iso hit into Blade. Agatha's tougher to take out, even though she's stunned, but I can deal with that. Let's take out Moon Knight and Ult. Rewind the Oath. Or kill the Oath. Um, let's go Blade. Agatha special. And yeah, that was really smooth. And basic. And Quicksilver for the win, maybe? Nope. <laughs> oh my god, Agatha. Alright, we are doing the cleanup for that stage 4 hit right now. Um, we're going to end up using our Sea Defenders, and we're adding Cosmic Ghost Rider in. Rogue is that protector, so when he does the special, that's going to stun her. And it's also going to be able to flip anybody that's in stealth. So this one should work pretty good. We did end up pulling that ult from a Nightcrawler in the special. We pulled the ult from a Gambit. Forge ready did the ult, so it shouldn't be too bad. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. All right, let's start by doing the rewind here. Um, Rogue hasn't ulted yet. And everybody goes stealth, that's fine. Special trauma stun on Nightcrawler is always good. And special into Rogue, that's the ability block on her. Special, there's blinds. Alright, so now we're going to use the special that's going to flip those. Not all of them, but we got some. Bolt. There goes the Nightcrawler. And... I'm going to rewind the Forge. I don't trust them. Basic here that got rid of his evade. Photon ults. There's some dodges though. Alright, there goes Forge. Game it bled out. Now we just have to take care of Rogue. We're going to have to worry about auto. Perfect. Alright, so 48-165. That one extra dropped attack, we would have had him by four points. Let's see what he did. Alright, so stage one. He did the Cabal, Zombie Juggernaut, and Limo in. Stage two, he did Superior Six. Both stayed alive, then Pegasus Cleanup. Works for Money, Apox, Sasquatch. 38 or 8360. Stage 4, he did the one shot. SD Odin. Stage 5, so he did double burn. It doesn't look like he timed 
out. Then the full Illuminati, 7564. I've seen people try this and fail, so I'm curious how that one played out. And stage six, New Warriors failed, then MOE Aries for the cleanup, so good job. So yeah, uh, good job Zemo, you got me again by one extra dropped attack, so well played. I will see you next season, hopefully. Now, if you guys did end up enjoying this, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, have one for us today.